Hello everyone, and today we are going to introduce three functionality of the Garage product. And uh, the first one is uh, TR-X inverter. The other one is uh, Shine Link. Or well, this com this Shine Link can help you to connect your inverter to the internet quickly. And also here's a smart meter. This one is actually for the export control. And uh, so obviously let's start with the smart meter. Smart meter will be installed between the public grid and your family load. So obviously for this smart meter you have the, 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 the cabling supply here. And there's, there's two ports at the top and two ports at the bottom. So obviously number one and number two port is uh, uh, arrow li live line in and live line out. So obviously it's here. One and two, and number three and number four is N line in and N line out. So, so number three and number four. And here is, is the communication cable. So right here, the red one will go to number five, and the black one will go to number six. So obviously, there is also the communication cable at the inverter side. It will be like this. So zero will be. The red one is actually go to the port seven, and the black one go to port port eight. All right. And uh, I want to talk a little bit more about this Shine Link. So once you have choose to use Shine Link for a robot inverter, this one can significantly improve the commissioning of the internet commission. So obviously there's two parts of the shining because it can be divided into two parts. One is shine line box and the other one is RF stake. So this one will connect to the uh, inverter and this one is actually has a network cable. It will automatically, uh, it, it can be connected with a network cable with your client's Wi-Fi router as you can hear. After you physically connect it to a client's uh, Wi-Fi router, you do not do any settings. Do not need you don't need to put any internet password or anything else. So obviously, it's connected. All the pairing work will be done by themselves. So obviously, let's begin. All right. So I will, yeah. All right first thing first, you have we had to plug in the RF stick. At the bottom of our inverter, and the uh, you know, connect the plug in the communication cable. All right, plug in like this, and it's done. So obviously, for the pairing by RF stake and the LAN web box, so it's a very important step to connect your inverter to the internet. You, you just click it as a back of the button inside yeah, here and uh, click the button here. So obviously you can see the status of the blue line. Right now it's flashing really quick and wait until every two seconds. It's flashing every two seconds. All right. So as you can tell when the RF stake, the shine link light is like this, the status is like this. This means this inverter is already connected to the internet by Shine Link. It's very simple, like five seconds job. All right. So obviously, right now, what we need is uh, you have to download one app, what we call Shine Phone, Garot app, uh, Shine Phone. You can download it either from Apple Store or or Google Play. So obviously, here you can see the little plus and. Um, at a plan, at a plan. Let's see. This one is inverter called TR dash X. We, we just input it TR dash X, and the capacity will be like five kilowatt. This is a five kilowatt inverter. So obviously, click on yes. All right, it's done. So obviously, after then you go to this page. It's because I can tell there's no device. You can. At the data logger, choose the second one, scanning the barcode. Yep. 
and you can scan the back of the shine link and we get so obviously it's refresh all right as you can tell this inverter is already connected to our app this inverter is already connected to the internet and uh, here we can do the settings for the export control you can do all the export control by your phone so obviously there's one option called set anti-reflex this one will need a password for that the password will be min and today's date 2019 zero, uh, april the 23rd click on yes and this choose the second one enable meter one Let's see, output power is like a three, three kilowatt. Yep. Click on save. Save. All right, it's a success. And uh, as we can tell from, so we can tell directly from the inverter, the output is close to three kilowatt. All right. All right. The export control output uh, for this one to the public grid would be three kilowatt exactly. And here you can also see from the smart meter. And here the export is minus three thousand, around two thousand nine nine hundred something like that. So around three thousand. So obviously, and then we have start um, start our simulation. Put on like a one kilowatt load. Yep, one kilowatt load. Yep, yep. Obviously, we will take it from. I think the water had changed. Um, so we wait until something changes. Yep. Alright, so right now you can tell the total output from the inverter is actually 4,000, uh, 4 kilowatt, and 3,000. We'll go to the public grid, minus three, something like that, and one thousand, one thousand watt is for your family load. So obviously, uh, gentlemen and ladies, this is the introduction about our Go Watts Shine Link TL-X export control. As you can tell, all the export control can be done by your cell phone, and also all the inverter commissioning to the internet can be easily done like uh, in 20 seconds so if you gentlemen have any questions feel free to ask because now uh, in in the past we have uploaded some of the YouTube videos and some of the installer said it's not clear enough so obviously this time we will upload the high resolution one hopefully this one can help thank you that's all for today